Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be continuing with the SAT math syllabus. Moreover, I'm going to be uploading daily during my spring break and I'm going to be trying to finish the SAT math syllabus. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the basic trigonometry. So if we have a triangle and these rules which I'm giving you only work for right angle triangles where basically one angle is 90 degrees. And say we have this angle which is theta, this side is 3, this side is 4, and this side is 5. So the side opposite to the angle theta is called opposite. The side opposite to the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse, and the other side is called the adjacent. So sine theta is always equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to 3 divided by phi opposite over hypotenuse and now cos theta is always equal to adjacent over hypotenuse which is 4 divided by 5 and tan theta is always equal to opposite over adjacent which is 3 divided by 4 so opposite over adjacent which is 3 divided by 4 now, if we move on to a question in trigonometry, say we have a right angle triangle. This is x, this is y, this is 12, and this is 48.6. Now, this is 48.6. And now, if you have to find x and y, so this is the known side, and this is the adjacent to this angle and x is the opposite so opposite over adjacent so we have to use the tan formula so theta is already given tan 48.6 is equal to opposite which is x over adjacent which is 12 so now if you cross multiply we'll get the value of x as 13.61 now for y we can use hypotenuse and the adjacent so for y we have to use cos theta so cos 48.6 is equal to adjacent which is 12 over the hypotenuse which is y so adjacent over hypotenuse now if we cross multiply we'll get y is equal to 12 divided by cos 48.6 which is 18.15 now, if we move on to another question, if we have a triangle and this is a right angle triangle with 90 degrees, this is 60 degrees, this is 9 and this is x and we have to find and x and this is y and we have to find y. So we use sine as we know the opposite and hypotenuse. So sine 60 is equal to y divided by 9. So y is equal to 9 into sine 60, which is 7.8. And now x will be equal to cos 60, as we have to use the adjacent and hypotenuse, which is equal to x divided by 9. So x is equal to 9 cos theta. So the value of x is 4.5. Okay. That's it for today's video guys. In today's video, I discussed the basic trigonometric functions and I also discussed few questions. Thank you.